Um, it's a big mess, that's for sure. Um, where do you stand on it as far as what would you like to see done? I'd build a wall. In fact, I'd hire illegal immigrants to build the wall. It's virtually impossible to immigrate here from, from Europe now. About 80% of our immigrants for the last 30 years have come from the third world. About 60% of them go on welfare. Much higher percentage than native-born Americans. This is so Democrats get themselves more voters. Adios, America. The left's plan to turn our country into a third world hellhole. That's the title. Sounds like a perfect holiday stocking stuffer to me. The title of her book, Adios, America, is an insulting insinuation that that Latinos are somehow going to pervert and, and, and drag down and degrade the America we all know and love. This is an insult. Post-1970 immigrants are voting 8 to 2 for the Democrats. Every issue is secondary to immigration because immigration decides every other issue. Before Teddy Kennedy's 1965 Immigration Act, there was more diversity in immigration. Diversity should mean we take an equal number from, oh, all the countries in the world. I think that would be a stupid policy, but that would at least be diversity. Well, I, still talking. Uh, so, so your problem is with Mexicans, but not with Europeans? No, I'm, you said what's the matter with diversity. I'm telling you it's not diversity. I'm just getting our facts straight. Immigrants are the grease of the wheel in the economy. Well, that's just... Um, cliche, but maybe it might be slightly uh, more helpful to the American people if we deported you, Ann Coulter, from America. Is that your argument? No, I, have, I have a question. My mom taught me when I was younger: if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Why do you think that's important to mudsling and have these these words that obviously touch the hearts and souls of so many people of America being said when we're taught something different as a child? Could you explain that to me? And why do you think your success is based off of that? Well. He's talking about policy. You have a position on what people's names should be. Water melandria. I mean, you'll insult people for their names. I'm talking about a government policy that affects all Americans and immigrants and the people living here and is harming our country. So are you? So you don't follow it. Are you against? I didn't ask you if, uh, okay. We have taken in one quarter of the entire Mexican population. At what point will we have taken in enough? In your view, I think that Half with a legal Mexican system, population? with a legal system, the entire Mexican population. No, I think with a, with a legal are... system, we wouldn't need, and we wouldn't be having hundreds of people dying crossing the border. That isn't an answer to the question. No country in world history has transformed itself into another country like this, and it was done without checking with the American people, and in fact, directly, specifically, knowingly lying to the American people. How many of you agree with her on this? A few, okay. They're embarrassed. Let not... They don't want to be called racist. That's the that's the trick. Let's just change the population and then accuse anyone who disagrees with what we've done to the country, call them racist. Chris Christie was on Fox News this weekend, you know, telling us once again that fences just don't work. The human spirit will overcome them. It's like saying buckets don't work. Of course fences work. Hey, Americans hey. aren't stupid. Why doesn't Chris Christie say that to Israel or China? Because their fences work just fine. And, you know, why don't we just try a fence? And then, and I just, I wouldn't get, you know, too wedded to any one candidate now. Let's see how they do in a debate. Let's see what their records are. And most importantly, let's see what their position is on amnesty. Thank you. Drive safely. Republicans don't listen to Jorge Ramos and how to win. Listen to Ann Coulter. It's in the second to last chapter. When Mexico sends its people, they're not sending their best. They're not sending you. They're not sending you. They're sending people that have lots of problems, and they're bringing those problems with us. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I assume, are good people. I thought it was nice when he said, and I assume some of them are fine some people. Are fine I people. loved so that. Want want Democrats should go for the novelty candidates. Republicans shouldn't be wasting their time on someone who isn't going to be the nominee. But in this one case, I actually do support at least Trump's running because, and and I don't, I can't pretend to think that he's going to be our nominee. But he's at least forcing the media to talk about this. I mean, without him doing this. There would be no question in the presidential debates about immigration. It would be but, all but gay if, marriage, if, abortion, global but warming. If, Can we talk if, about the number one issue in the country? But, I don't think he represents the Republican Party, and his uh, his views are way out of the mainstream of what 
Republicans think. I don't know. It seems to be resonating. The one moving up the uh, the polls is Donald Trump. Yeah, yeah, he sure is. This is a big opening. It's the same opening Ronald Reagan had. You know, Jeb Bush, wait a second, he said illegal immigration was an act of love. Is he saying every act of immigration was an act of, of love? Was this guy who, who murdered that beautiful woman in San Francisco, was that an act of love, Jeb? They are standing with the elites and the Wall Street crowd. You get one Republican to come along and, and speak straight about what the people want to hear, and the media is always surprised. Oh, he's doing so well. Do you believe that Trump is a serious, committed candidate, and do you think he can win? Well, I am shocked that no Republican is picking up on this. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. Well, what about of all of them? I mean, is Scott fake Walker? laughter from the audience. <laughs> Donald Trump saw me on an interview on uh, Telemundo Univision with Jorge Ramos the week before my book came out. I was on my way to the airport in Miami, and I got an email from him asking for an advanced copy of my book. He has been good on this issue before, but my book has a lot of startling facts in it, um, and it is carefully footnoted and documented, and I think it is the first time there was a lot of discussion about a lot of the criminal cultures being launched on our country. If it weren't for me, you wouldn't even be talking about illegal immigration, Chris. You wouldn't even be talking about it. This was not a subject that was on anybody's mind until I brought it up. I mean, just, you know, just to put it bluntly, he appeals to a seam of racism in America, doesn't he? People who don't he like doesn't. Mexicans, people who don't like Muslims. We try to talk about what's good for the country, what's good for the people living in the country, and the only response is to hear epithets. You're racist, you're a bigot. No, well, well you know, sorry, Donald Trump I, is I, challenging that too. No, I won't use uh, terms like racism because I don't believe that Anne is a racist. What she is, is a polemicist. <laughs> Uh, I do want to say I don't think you're a racist either, Geraldo, though I think you're going kind of close to the edge by uh, insisting that Hispanics piggyback onto the black experience in America. The reason Americans are so concerned with racism and should be concerned with racism. The reason we have civil rights laws, set as racial set-asides, affirmative action is to make up for the legacy of slavery and Jim Crow by Democrats, I might add. It is not for people who just set foot in this country yet yesterday to piggyback on that very unique history in America. It is heavily the working class, black teenagers, their unemployment rate is through the roof. Well, who's taking those jobs? Illegal immigrants. So Americans have been asking for this for a long time. And the other aspect of that that Trump's candidacy is really exposing, like I never thought could get exposed, is how every other one of these Republicans cannot take the pro-American position because their donors don't want it. Who's he reaching? He's reaching about 10 million Americans, blacks, Hispanics, evangelicals. Massachusetts, one of the most liberal states in the union. He is sweeping the nation. Maybe Mitt Romney had to lose. And maybe we had to give Republicans one more chance in 2014. And maybe Mitch McConnell and John Boehner had to betray us once again to pave the way for President Donald Trump. God hasn't given up on America yet. Thank you. Reagan, Romney, Trump, the only people who have run for president whose lives will be made immeasurably worse, both by running and by winning. And the intensity with Trump is like nothing I've seen since I was a little kid and Reagan was running. These are stunning numbers he's getting. And the demographics he's getting are stunning. He is winning across the board. It is not just, you know, angry white men. This is just a way to insult the American people. Uh, I don't know, the wall thing. And she's like, no, that actually makes sense. What's Mexican that mean? legals and illegals, especially illegals, mm. send from American dollars back to Mexico $20 billion a year. That should be taxed now. Yeah, well, that's what he says he's going to use to build the wall, plus the foreign aid we send them. That is the simplest okay. part of his program. So, but he's then got to take on Hillary Clinton. It's, he's going to crush Hillary Clinton. And he is the party. He is the heart and soul of the party. What's the best line in it? I know you remember it. What was the best line you wrote in your book, In Trump We Trust, that's coming up? I'm writing it right now. 
It's called In Trump We Trust, E Pluribus, awesome. And today, Trump told Sean Hannity in a pre-taped town hall that he was open to softening in laws that deal with illegal immigrants. Who knew that it would be Donald Trump <laughs> to come along and convert the GOP base? to supporting Amnesty on the same week Ann Coulter's book comes out. Poor Ann. This could be the shortest book tour ever if he's really softening his position on immigration, but I don't, I don't think he is. I think he may have softened up here on what got him this no, far. No, I think this is a mistake. Um, I've thought he's made other mistakes, and I've given him constructive criticism when I think he makes a mistake. I think this Does is a mistake. Um, but I want to answer Does your last question. Does he take your criticism? Um, I haven't had a lot, but yeah. yeah. But to answer your last question. You still trust him? This isn't the same. Y yes. Well, I, I can't understand what's going on, but whomever is advising Trump now, um, he needs to fire them, get rid of them immediately. Paul Ryan isn't his friend. That's the loser wing of the GOP, not the winning wing, which is Donald Trump's, and that's trade and immigration. It isn't more of this corporate stuff and corporate tax cuts. You think all the polls are so flawed? No, that I won't wrong? discount all the polls, think but I think they'll change. I still think it yeah. is. Look, I, I think it's more likely than not that he'll win. There's you a possibility that he really. will lose. We need strong borders. We need absolute. We cannot give amnesty. Now, I want to build the wall. We need the wall. The Border Patrol, ICE, they all want the wall. We stop the drugs. We, we shore up the border. One of my first acts will be to get all of the drug lords, all of the bad ones. We have some bad, bad people. And what you're calling these extreme positions, we'll find out tonight, but are believed by at least half of the American people, or pretty pretty damn close to it. So, I, I mean, I, I think that's really more of a problem, that your side wants to write off half of the public and, and call us deplorables, irredeemable, divisive. You shouldn't be saying these things. That that's a little appalling. The Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. I've just received a call from Secretary Clinton. There will be massive resistance to anything Trump tries to do on immigration, which was the main reason he was elected president in a shocking victory. It's not as if Americans looked around the country and thought, I know, we need a reality TV star to be president. Um, that's not why he crushed his 16 opponents in the primary and then, and then won an election with the entire media his own party and the other party working against him, it's because, you know, he saw the $1,000 bill lying on the sidewalk and said, hey, I think I'll pick that up. Um, I've been begging members of my own Republican Party, but the ex-Republican Party, not the new Trumpian Republican Party, to please do something about immigration. I mean, I've been talking about this in speeches for a long time and then wrote Adios America, which Donald <laughs> Trump read.